So um, this is Nexus 4. Let's take a look. It is Nexus 4. Um, and um, I've installed the newest version of Android on it, Android L. Um, I'm going to put, put a link in the description to the XDA thread where um, there are instructions to install it. So I'm not going to um, tell you how to install it in this video. Um, so let's take a look. Um, so this is the lock screen. Um, there are a lot of changes. You can uh, swipe right to get to the dialer very quick. Looks very quick. And um, it's got all this uh, material design look. So um, it's very natural. Everything makes sense. So stuff like that. And you can see the notification bar is transparent on top. So that's a very nice touch. Let's just focus. And um, you've got a new notification bar as well. You just swipe down, of course. And uh, right now I've no notification, but if you get one, you get them in <clears throat> cards like this. Yeah, cards like this. And um, to uh, dismiss them, you just swipe them away. So it's very quick and good. And if you look at the top, um, top right, you can see you can see um, you got a, a small profile picture right there. So that's also quite pretty. Um, so the fonts in the Android L is also a bit thicker and in some places they are thinner. So uh, they use different fonts. And uh, to get to uh, the quick settings, unlike before when you uh, took, took, took uh, two fingers and swiped down, you can't do that anymore. Um, you just click on uh, this bar thing. Oops click on the bar thing and then it goes down. So that's also quite nice. You can adjust your um, screen brightness right here. Turn on Bluetooth. And uh, you've also got some new system toggles as well. Just click them. Quite nice. And um, Yeah, so look at the font. It's a bit thicker. It looks a bit like the font on the on uh, the HTC Sense Six. That's probably where they got the information inspiration from. Um, you can also see this. Uh, the settings are uh, brighter. The notification bar is transparent on top. It's not black anymore. It used to be black. So let's go back. You can also see the soft keys have changed. You get this um, triangle, um, circle, square thing. Uh, actually, it looks quite a lot, quite a lot like like the um, PlayStation controller. You know the buttons on it. So you can see there's um, a quite nice little shadow behind this dialer icon, so that's a quite nice touch. So let's uh, swipe to Reasons. You can see when you swipe it to Reasons, this thing, this thing uh, goes to the right, so that's quite nice as well. See? It jumps to the right. This is your context. And um, the animations in Android L are really, really, really gorgeous. If you look at this, um, when you swipe down, when you swipe down, um, you, um, you can see that first this little card uh, uh, goes away like this, and then the search bar locks in place and goes away. Then the, these tabs locks uh, locks in place and stays there. So um, they make sense and they are very beautiful. Look, then they appear again. Quite nice. And um, so if you look at when I touch things, look at that. Looks like a water or something. So that's also quite nice. And that's also a big part of material design. The all these animations and. Um, Fonts. 
so the multitasking have also have also changed quite a lot um, before you had these um, things that you could swipe away these small squares now we have these big beautiful uh, cards like in uh, Chrome so you can um, either uh, tap these uh, crosses to close them or you can swipe them away so that's quite nice and um, the animations have a, have a quite a bit a lot uh, more frame rate this time so they are more fluent open the um, folder here so um and you've got Google now of course on the left side of the screen this is just a normal Google now launcher so there are there aren't um, so many changes in the launcher itself but um, the home button is now white instead of trans transparent so it um, matches more the um, material design thing and you can still access Google now by in any app by holding the circle down as always swipe up get Google now let's close that and um, you can still add widgets by pressing and holding tapping widgets and uh, the widgets haven't changed that much so let's just add a, add a clock and of course you can press and hold resize as always um, but some apps unlike the dialer um, haven't been um, um, haven't been optimized for Android L so they still look the same and you don't get the uh, transparent notification bar with a color accent but uh, this is only a preview so it's not a finished build so you can expect all these bugs and uh, things like this is not a uh, daily driver stuff so um yeah another app that has been optimized to kick uh, to android l sorry is the calculator you can see the icon is quite different now we get this blue equal sign to the right before it was all gray you know hold a look You see the colors are um, quite like the dry dialer. You get this bluish notification bar, and uh, you, you also get these um, scientific buttons if you swipe to the right. This light blue theme, and when you click on the when you click on the numbers, you can see these animations. Quite nice. Looks like water, as I said before. So um, when you rotate it. It's also um, changed quite a lot. Um, the one thing I don't like about this calculator is there is a quite big empty spot right there. So it doesn't make sense at all. But uh, again, this is only a preview, so things like, like that might be fixed in a um, coming, um, coming release. Um, and other apps like the calendar hasn't changed, still the same. Um, the only apps that's, that actually has changed to um, Android L um, minimal, minimal, no material design is the dialer and um, is the dialer and the calculator. So not many apps has been optimized now. But uh, th apps like uh, Google Plus have actually changed look this um, new, new post button if you want to write a status update or something it has the the shadow thing behind it and it falls away like that the Android L style these um, posts flip up like uh, when you open an app in Android L for example, if I open uh, Gmail, no. Let's just open the dialer again. See, it swipes up like that. 
And of course, it does the same when you close it. And it swipes down and uh, minimizes it, of course. Um, yeah. And the apps like the Play Store are still the same. No changes at all. So let's take a closer look at this settings app. And uh, one new thing about these quick settings is that you get this uh, cast screen option. So you can uh, duplicate your screen onto a TV that supports um, supports the, the, this feature or a Chromecast. So you can just go to the settings by clicking on the on the tool button. Um, Wi-Fi, you still get, get these new um, toggles, system toggles. And um, one new very nice feature is that you can search for your setting. That's quite awesome. You couldn't do that before. For example, if you search blue tooth, then it comes up like this. So quite nice. And um, look at data usage. And of course, it's got its um, Android L UI again. Go to storage, it's still the same. Although uh, generally the settings app has been refreshed quite a lot. You get this new white look and the new animation at the bottom look. Now it's um, very grayish. Before it was quite transparent, not it, now it's not that anymore. It's still transparent, but it's more flat overall. And uh, I can go to about phone. So look, this is Android L. Click on it two times. This is the uh, Easter egg in Android L. A bit weird. If you hold it, tap it quite sometimes. You get the old um, square tiles look. All the old Android versions. Donut. KitKat. See the build number. And uh, of course, if you want to access uh, developer options, you just tap this a few times. Yeah, it says no need, you're always a developer. Because I've done it. So um, this is developer options. You get uh, some a few new things in Android L compared to KitKat. KitKat. Um, Still get this process stats about your open apps, USB debugging, everything else. Um, but uh, if you enable the show touches, of course, it's using new Android material, material design thing, so it's more flat, not the grayish transparent look. So that's very nice. And uh, you also get um, simulate color space, didn't have that before. Um, actually, I don't know what it does, but uh, it should be a very nice feature, I guess. And uh, I also get this uh, media, use new player, experimental. Um, so, yeah, you can select to use this new player instead of awesome player. I don't know what it does, so be careful when using using it if you don't know what it is. Yeah, and um, and you still got accessibility. But uh, new things in Android L is that you can select color inversion, just like in iOS when you tap three times, when you click three times on the home button. So if you enable that, just uh, take this box. Oh, yeah. And uh, you can select this to show in quick settings if you want. So if we just click that, and we um, open the quick settings. Oh, that's weird. But this is probably just a small bug, quite big one. If you en enable this, you see all the colors on, are inverted. Let's just disable that again. There you go. You also get this uh, color space correction. I have no idea what it does. Let's try it. Um, but it doesn't seem to be quite big difference. 
but uh, I think the colors just went uh, darker or something. But yeah, it, they got lighter. No, that's weird. Well, I think this is for um, people that are color blind that can't um, see the difference between red and green or something. But that's a, that's a quite nice feature. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, let's go to printing. Still same. Uh, date and time. Still same. Language and input. Got all these keyboards. Security. And um, still got the same screen locks, no difference at all. Um, you don't have the ability to have um, lock screen widgets now. It's replaced by the swipe right to <clears throat> get to the dialer and swipe left to get to the camera. So, But uh, I didn't use that in it, no matter much anyway. Location. Got this Android L look. And uh, the apps section. It's lighter now. And you see this new uh, loading animation. Very nice. And of course, you can search if you want to search for a specific app or something. A setting. Oh, yeah, and you got this new um, Android L keyboard as well. So this is a Danish version. Let's just switch to the English. This is Deutsch, German. Still got the emoji one with all the different emojis. Uh, still Deutsch. Wait. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just take the German one. It looks the same anyway. Um, you can swipe to, uh, you can swipe as well. And, uh, it's quite nice. It's a, I think it's, um, a bit better to type on than the, than the KitKat keyboard. So it's, it's got some improvements and it looks much better. I think the old one looked, uh, quite oldish, I think. And you see this um, search button also has that um, KitKat, oh, Android L material design look. And if you want to switch keyboards, instead of uh, that keyboard icon displayed up in the notification bar, you get it down in the, um, the low right corner. So if you just, oh, just tap that. See, you have the different options. You can switch to <clears throat> the English keyboard. Yeah. And of course, you can just uh, click on the globe to switch as well. But it's a bit quicker to click on the keyboard thing. So, um, yeah. And you also got a new feature in Android L where you can uh, access Google Now from any screen in the whole um, system UI. So it doesn't matter if you're in Chrome, Play Store, or anything like that. It doesn't need to be the home screens. Um, I'm not sure why it doesn't work right now. So if I said, okay, Google, okay, Google, okay, Google. I'm not sure why it doesn't work, but it, uh, it worked when I first got the ROM and then I updated the, the Google app and then it didn't work. So it's probably just a small bug, a quite big one, um, but there shouldn't be that problem when you, when the a finished build comes out in October or something. So um, one last feature is um, you can, of course, you can swipe up very quick, quick to um, unlock the phone. Quite nice. And you can also swipe left to go to a camera. Yeah, you can just choose your aspect ratio. And a bug in, in uh, Android L right now is, is that you get this uh, Google Photos bar thing. It's quite annoying, but um, if you access the gallery, then go back again, it's gone. So that's fine. Still got Photosphere and everything else. So that's quite nice. So that's